January 6, 2023, Marcus Giovanni here, Janine Davidson at Janine Davidson YouTube handle by Marcus Giovanni 2003. When you think about <clears throat> what I do, I am an observer indexer of Kelly Brow. And ever since I met her in 2011, I've been indexing her. There's the truth. And so when she was making 200 or 600, what well, was it? Excuse me. When she was making $474,000 a year at Metro, especially during COVID when everybody was sick, she's still getting that Gouda on that phone, making that scratch, <clears throat> telling everybody to pay their dues. I don't know. That's what I hear. But then you hear a lot of things about me and I don't defend anything I don't know about. End of story. I mean, if you ever get caught up in an FBI investigation or any type of an investigation with the police and you go in that interrogation room, they're not your fucking friends. Don't say a fucking word. Keep your mouth shut. Get your attorney, whether they think you that might look, make you look guilty. Oh, lawyers, oh, he got a, an attorney, so he must be guilty. He's hiding something, because anybody that does that, it, it, every single time is guilty. Well, I've done algorithms on that, folks, and that is completely fucking bullshit. And when you understand my language, folks, when I walk around and I get my... um petition sign and I talk to these young cats like 18 year olds oh my god fuck that man I ain't put my name on that fucking paper every one of them I don't think I have anybody 18 years old on my thing but they do tell me I wish you luck man I'll vote for you just cause you're standing here but I ain't putting my fucking shit on your shit man <laughs> alright brother I get it chicks young chicks walk up to me Hey, dude, you got cool hair, man. What's the petition about? What? Oh, I'm running for mayor. Oh, that's cool, man. You're out here freezing. I like that. I like that a lot, man. That's what my parents told me. This girl had purple hair. That's what my girl, my, my parents told me when I was a little girl. No one's going to give it to me for free. I got to work and get it. I got to get it. And you're getting it. I won't sign your paper because I don't put my name on none of that stuff. But um, those that do, they're some badass citizens because they believe in the right petition and they're willing to give their addresses and phone numbers. No, we don't take phone numbers. Well, whatever the information on there, what, what do you get on there? First name, well, last name. It's kind of weird how they do it. The writing is very small. It's all done by purpose, so if people have the, don't have their glasses on, and I've hit that, oh, I don't have my glasses on. I can barely read it, and I have my glasses on. That's all going to change. See, Denver.gov.org, that whole bullshit group of people, the administrators, they have no uniform standards of forms. You go to their website with the, with the election committee and all those bullshit people on it, just with the ballot committee. Stand alone. Stand the fuck alone. Just the ballot committee to make sure that the ballot machines are counting correctly. It's like the who's who's of the Democratic uh, 5013C uh, slush fund babies. I guarantee you every one of those people sit somewhere on a 5013C or they're controlling one themselves, which they have to if they have, well, I don't because I don't I don't believe in raising money before I get on the ballot. Who the fuck is going to go and yeah, I'm going to give you money. Here's 50 bucks. Yeah, but if you don't get on the ballot, what happens to my 50 bucks? Oh, well, I uh, put it toward my expenses. Well, how come Giovanni got up all that and, and beat your ass he into FOIA? Because when I do what he says and I use those handles, the new handles that are the new identifiers that he verifies, that's his job. You people are walking over him like he's some fucking minority, freaking illegal alien. He might look like it, but he ain't like it. 
And if I was Mexican, it'd be Mexican, not Mexicant. But I'm not. I'm Central American Indian, Iberian, West Nigerian Jew. I was adopted in a very strict Irish Roman Catholic Republican military family. My father was the most generous Republican man I ever met in my life. His friends, had, he had a who's who's of friends. We had a 20 by 40 foot swimming pool because my dad loved to barbecue. And it's so funny because you would think, oh yeah, I got to go out. But when the heavy hitters started coming over, I had to go in my bedroom. And I had every toy, everything you could ever imagine to keep me busy because that's what my parents learned about me. Picture books, toys, toys, and more toys. Throw in a couple freaking <coughs> strings and some noodles and I'll make you a necklace. And I'll go take my mom's fingernail polish and I'll paint them different colors. That's what I did. She wore them one day. And then she came home and said, son, I can't wear those. The paint fuse got me high all day. I had to take it off and get oxygen. <laughs> oh, because I heavy duty did. I filled the insides of those noodles so um, the rope would stay. Anyways, <clears throat> I was like seven. But uh, where we're going with Janine Davidson, I'm sure she's a nice woman. She really looks good with red lips. I'm not going to lie. As a matter of fact, they all look pretty at one time. I heard I look pretty too, but I don't look that way no more. I'm old, I'm wrinkled, I don't buy wear Botox. I just tell it like it is. And Janine Davidson <clears throat> wins an award in 2022 for what I don't fucking know. But I could be sitting in front of a judge right now. If they said, Giovanni, go to your magic computer. I need to know where we are with Janine Davidson. Okay, what are you going to do with the information? We're going to take it, kick it up to the HR department and make a review if we're going to keep her or not because she's been here for since 2017 and she hasn't done a goddamn thing to raise for what you call in your social credit, social credit system scores and rankings.com <clears throat> that she's an outdated PhD and the fact that all your content is kicking her ass up and down and the girl that we tried to pad her resume by creating a chief strategy officer because her outdated resume only read Chamber of Commerce at 470 for um, a year, 13 years, that's a lot of money. And you knew they were fucked up by the way they were dressing and all their jewelry and all their cool offices and the cars they drove. They were the whoop 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 de doo of success. They were the BMOC on campus. And see, what they didn't realize is that they've been indexed for many years. And they're so far behind. Even the police are behind. The courts are behind. Everybody in Denver and the rest of the world within our borders are way out of whack. You know, when I, when I listen about what they're trying to do with the Republican Party, we're finally getting some fucking democracy. We're finally having some Republicans with some balls, including that, um, that woman, Colorado Republican. I like that, man. Get, get Beth Dalton in there. She'll make all those pe guys with no penises leave the fucking room or go get a sex change. Cause it's got nothing to do with that, folks. It's got to do with getting their fucking job done. I'm 63 years old, and I'm telling the 28 to 38 year olds, you all better fucking open your fucking eyes because, man, I'll tell you what, I sat on my dad's lap watching the whole Korean War fucking go on. Not the Korean War, I'm sorry, Vietnam. Vietnam War, he was part of the Korean War. I'm sorry, I get excited, I lose my breath. So throw a rock at my skull. Anyway, so if you think about where we are as a unit and all the words that Mayor Michael Hancock and Webb and everything that Hancock and, well, did we say him twice, Hancock? Or did I say him like four times, Hancock? Well, how about Hickamooper? Hick, Hickometer, nice guy, man. I talked to him a few times at some of his events. Got some good pictures of him. Um, and he's always treated me kind, but he's never asked me for kind words. He's never asked me 
how he could be kind to me. He's never asked me, Giovanni, how do you keep coming up with this stuff and my people keep trying to do it and you just keep kicking their asses? That's because, um, John, uh, you need to get rid of them guys so that you can protect your legacy because um, sooner or later it's going to catch up to you. And you, you can control it. You can make it so that we can end homelessness. And see, that was your mantra. And when you take all the things that you've done and you look at all the laws and you take pictures like I did of every fucking street, how do you think I know where everything is? I drive up and down these fucking roads for years and I videotape it. And so by me working that hard, being able to prove through audio, interviewing people that the that stuff's not even on the internet. It's just in the cloud. And so when these people come out and start talking, like Colorado politics, right? You would think that everything about Janine Davidson that was written in Colorado politics would show right up front. But see, this is about me and my metaverse and what I say and what I do and what perimeters I follow in order to be compliant with Google on its platform to which I am part of. <clears throat> Whether you think I am or don't think I am, if I was in front of a judge, he would know I am. <clears throat> and when you think of the most powerful three letters in a word, I've been telling everybody. Whew. See, on this stuff here, I don't even know what this is. January 3rd, don't know what this is. So I don't click on it. Because it doesn't tell you much. See, my content tells you exactly. See, there's, there's, there's Spear. He's watching, man. He's fucking alive, man. He's relived through me. He died in office, folks. You know? He can't, and he created the Spear Amendment. And he won, and people loved him. And then as years gone by, the ones that wanted power, who thought they fucking knew everything, and they controlled the internet, Got a big old can of boy whipped out on their asses. Kelly Brow, Andy R O U G E O T Rot, fucking uh, Leslie Harrod. Dude, did you people know that she's indexed as somebody that doesn't have any allegiance only to her blackness, her womanness, and her lesbianness? And all the laws that she's bloviated on video that we use, which is called voice latent prints, that we can just take with what she's saying and promising, write that content, or when she's saying it to everybody else, if there's no content backing up her, the invasion of those that can start. And that's why... Leslie Harrod, when, when social credit scores and rankings, when it comes out that because we got to get back to reality, that you can't get hired because you're the first woman. You can't get hired because you're black. You can't get hired because you're a lesbian. You can't get hired because you have a disability. You get hired because you have the merits and the ability to do what you got to do. With that said, a person that has disabilities, disabilities tells you what's wrong with them. Chances are they can't have a job anyways, so we need to take care of them people so that they're making $20 an hour. So they can have a life. So they can buy their wheelchairs. So they can do what they got to do, and the money that they get paid, they pay back to the system. The Fresh Start Program. No, nothing's free, man. People that are going to be collecting uh, food stamps in, in city, county, and Denver through Denver Health and Human Services, I know them better than they know themselves, folks. I know the whole operation from city attorney's office down. And I'll tell you what, from what I know, Kristen Bronson's a badass woman. I don't know why they quit. I can just surmise based off conversations and artificial intelligence of what we believe certain people are talking about in regards to me because I control my own metaverse. And this is what everybody's failed to, to learn. Mayor Michael Hancock cannot go, he can, that's the thing, but when he does, 
today's the day, the day he planted his seed. I planted my seed way back in 19, uh, 1960. I've got things that have indexed me all the way through my whole entire life. Even when I tried to break the world's record in swinging, we swang for 77 and a half hours. Or, yeah, 77 and a half hours. I keep saying it, wanting to say 79. It was such a long time ago. And when I was writing the book, I, I mean, I wasn't completely, I cried a lot. That's where all the wrinkles on my face comes from. And the double chin comes from me eating freaking uh, uh, cheesecake, french fries, and I quit all that, but now you got the aftermath of sagging skin, and no matter what you try to do, it's there, and you know what? That's mine to tell everybody, if you got that little pooch under your neck, I swear it's starting, you got a little baby pooch. My wife used to live, I was like 23, and she grabbed it. I kind of like that. I don't quit eating sour cream. I love sour cream. I'll eat a whole jar of sour cream. I don't care. I love buttermilk. Oh. Anyways, but <clears throat> when you understand the power of artificial intelligence and where we're going and how we're going to survive and what we're going to need to do, oh, look at that. See? What happened is when the whole campaign for Kelly Brow came out, you know, they everybody tries to make Janine like she's a super administrator. She's not. Because she worked at DOD, doesn't, that, that's it. When you're done, you're done. That, that gives you some authority. But where are you in your authority now? Just because you work at Metropolitan State University and you you somehow came up with a magic chief strategy officer uh, so that Kelly could slide right in from a $474,000 job to a $150,000 job? Why she gets, from what I hear, we don't know this and I need to find out. You know, People asking me all kinds of things. I'm ready, man. Believe me. Believe me, but the thing about me is um, I've learned not to defend what I don't know about. No matter what they people tell you. And I've been through a lot, folks. When you see my paper, you'll be like, God damn, and you still did all this? And so, you know, my daddy was right. He called me a fluke. I was his fluke Irish son. I was adopted. I was a bastard. I didn't even mom. I was nothing. I was a preemie, 2.3 pounds. That's why I look so young, and I, I always looked young. You know? But I was on a special diet, and my diet just had no no fat. No, I had to drink goat's milk and eat goat cheese. Because I had celiac, and I had another disease where my, my body wasn't absorbing the nutrients in the foods. And uh, so, and what I ate just came out what I ate. It didn't even get processed. It just looked like what I ate. But a few other stupid looking stuff. I don't know. Just what my mom told me. Cried for two and a half years straight until Father Sharp came in and said, Hey, I think your baby's got celiac. I look like a little care baby. I didn't get home till I was um, like one years old, but I looked like an infant. And, uh, and my mom, she nursed me to be an awesome kid, man. We were hardcore people. And they got burned out because they adopted seven children. You know, they should have just stopped at, at my sister Catherine. And then the rest would have been just, because that's how they treated me. And that's how people are. I love them though. I think of them as my brother and sister. They don't think of me that way. It's because they're racist. <gasps> See, racist, racism is just racism, man. It's a, it, it, I've met black people racist with oh, their own black people. Same with some Asian folks. I know. What I like about Asians is they mind their fucking business, man. <clears throat> they won't tell you how much money they got. They don't flash their shit. Unless they're going to an event to flash their shit. And um, they mind their business, man. They don't tell you what to fucking do. When has you ever had an Asian come and tell you what to fucking do? You know? 
And the thing about Asians is when you think about all the railroads that they fucking built and the slavery that they went through, where's their reparation? What about the reparation for all the Civil War people that died defending not only slavery, but our Constitution? So that people like Janine Davidson can pump up Candy CD Baca and, and infiltrate more bullshit into the schools to make us work. And Janine Davidson, your career's over, Bill. Bye-bye. You heard me?